Hey everybody, today we are gonna talk about nets. Nets of 3D shapes are basically taking a shape and unfolding it. So let's take a look at this page first. Draw, draw a line between the red 3D shape on the left and the blue net on the right. Match them up. Pause the video. Okay, so let's take a look at these. Um, I think that one goes with B because I think every single face on uh, shape number one is a square and B also has all the squares. Number two looks like it goes with D to me because I don't see any triangles on number two, but I do see um, square, different types of squares and rectangles. So that looks like it goes with D to me. And then three and four, they both have triangles, but I'm noticing that four only has one square or rectangle on the bottom of it, and that goes with A. Three has two triangles, and then the rest of the sides are rectangles. Now I wonder if you would be able to pause the video and name the shapes, um, name the different red shapes. I'm going to make you guys um, a little word bank and I want you to see if you guys can figure out which of these words goes with which of the red shapes. So one of these shapes is a triangular prism. I also see a rectangular prism. I see a cube and I see a square pyramid. Pause the video and see if you guys can figure out which one is which. Okay, hopefully you've had some time to think about that. The triangular prism is number three, this guy right here. This is the triangular prism. Remember a prism has two bases. Those are the two triangles. That's why it's called the triangular prism. And then because it's a prism, the rest of the sides are rectangles. The rectangular prism goes with number two. In a rectangular prism, you get to pick which sides you want to be the bases um, because all the other sides are rectangles anyway. So I'm gonna say that these two sides are the bases. And then the rest of them are rectangles. And you can see that in the net too. Um, so if you look at three and C, here are the triangles. All the other sides are rectangles. In D, you could say that maybe these two sides were the bases, and then all the other sides are still rectangles. The cube is number one. That's like a special type of rectangular prisms. Cubes are rectangular prisms. It's just a special case where all the sides are squares. So maybe if I'm saying that these two are the bases, perhaps these would be these two in the net, but all the sides are the same, so it doesn't really matter. And then that leaves square pyramid for this last one. The base of it is a square. So that's this, like the floor of it in this particular picture. And then pyramids have triangles for the rest of the sides instead of rectangles for the rest of the sides. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing two more times. Start with problem two, match them up, and then we'll talk about the shapes. All right, so number one, I'm actually gonna come back to that one because that's kind of a funky shape and that wouldn't be the first one I would solve. My eye <clears throat> kind of goes to number two. I see these two circles and I see that D also has two circles. So I like that. I think that those two are a match. Number three, it looks to me like it's made up of all triangles. So I think three and C are gonna go together. And then for four, I see that there's a trapezoid in the front and the back, and then the rest are rectangles. So then that goes with A, which leaves us with one and B matching up. Now we're gonna do the same thing, and I'm gonna make you guys a word bank, and you're gonna try to figure out which shape is which. Okay, so the shapes that I see here 
would be a cylinder. I see a trapezoidal prism. I see a triangular pyramid. And I see a cone. Pause the video, see if you can match those up. Okay, so the cone is this one. It looks just like an ice cream cone. That's what a cone is. The cylinder is this one. The trapezoidal prism is this one. And the triangular pyramid is this one. Now I'm going to look at each of those more specifically. So a cone, like an ice cream cone, it looks like it has one circle base, and that's this little shape on the net. And then the rest of the cone, like the sides of the cone, fold out into this weird uh, shape. It almost looks like, um, like the infield of a baseball diamond. That's what the rest of the cone would fold all out into if you were to lay that cone flat. The cylinder has two bases, a circle on the top and the bottom, so that in, in shape D, there's a circle on the top and the bottom. And then it's kind of weird that the, the sides of the cylinder, when you unfold it, it actually makes a rectangle. It's kind of weird to picture that, but imagine like um, a paper towel tube. If you were to cut a paper towel, towel tube open and flatten it, it would actually make a rectangle. And you can try that if you want to. Number three, the triangular pyramid. Um, the base of it, any of the sides could be a base because they're all triangles, but I'm just going to color in the bottom of it. The base of it is a triangle. That's why it, the word starts with triangular pyramid. And then because the remaining sides are all triangles as well, that's why it's a pyramid instead of a prism. Uh, number four, the trapezoidal prism. Now this one's not going to come up for us a lot. We're not going to be really dealing with trapezoids. But there's a trapezoid on the front and the back. Those are the two bases. Remember the bases have to be across from each other in the 3D shape. And then all the other sides have to be rectangles. And if you look at shape A, you do see that the rest of the sides are rectangles. Okay, I think uh, we're going to do this one more time on this page. Match them up. Now this time they all are similar, so you really have to pay attention to um, the tri the shape of the triangles to see which ones are which. All right. Hopefully you've gotten a chance to pause the video and try these. Um, I am kind of drawn to this shaped triangle first. I see that this guy has triangles that look like this, and the only other option that has triangles that look like this would be these two on B. They're right triangles. So I think that one and B go together. Now two and three are very similar, but I see that two is probably equilateral. It's like a shorter triangle. And three has a taller triangle, probably an isosceles triangle. Um, so Two, I think, is going to go with C because that has shorter triangles on the end, and three and A have the longer triangles. Now, all of these shapes are the same, and I want you to tell me which one it is. Are all of these shapes triangular prisms, or are all of these shapes triangular pyramids? Think about that for a second. If you need more time, you can pause the video because I'm about to say the answer. These are all triangular prisms. The reason for that is if you look at all the sides that are not the bases, they're all made of rectangles. Rectangles go with prisms, not pyramids. All right, one last page to do. So on problem 19 here, they're telling us that these are the nets of some prisms. So they've already flattened them for us. And they want us to identify the bases. Basically, what they're asking us to do is like the way I colored in these, where I colored in all of the bases purple, that's what they want us to do. 
So pause the video, try number 19, see if you can identify which are the bases. All right, hopefully you've gotten a chance to try that. If you remember a prism, which it says that these are prisms, have two bases that are the same, and then every other side is a rectangle. So if there are sides that aren't rectangles, that has to be the answer. So for 19, I can say these two triangles would be the, the bases of the prism, because everything else is a rectangle. Those would be the sides. For the second one, these pentagons will be the prism. And then for the third one, I think these are octagons, will be the bases of the prism. So I've left all the sides that are the rectangles or squares because those make up the sides of the prisms. Now, do you think you can name these? All of these are going to be a word followed by the word prism. And that word has to do with whatever shape the bases are. See if you could pause the video and name each of these three shapes. Okay, so um, hopefully you've done that already. 19 would be triangular prism because the sides that aren't rectangles are triangles in the first one. The second one would be pentagonal prism because the sides that aren't rectangles are pentagons. And the third one would be octagonal prism. The sides that aren't rectangles are octagons. So that's how you come up with the name. All right, and this looks familiar. We've done matching activities like this earlier in the assignment. Try it one more time for number 20. Pause the video. All right, so I'm gonna go over the answers. Um, and maybe just so I could talk about it easier, I'm going to label them A, B, C, D, E, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is just so I could say them out loud to you guys better. Now, I would probably start with something like B, because I see that B has a pentagon, and that's a more rare shape. So let me look. I see... Five has a pentagon. So I think that those are going to go together. And then on E, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, octagon. What else has an octagon? Looks like number two does. So I think those two go together. And um, let's see what's left. It looks like D has kind of a funky base. One, two, three, four, five, six sides on its base. That's a hexagon. So I think it's going to go with number one. And then I'm left with A and C. It looks like A has a square base. So I think that's going to go with three. And C is all triangles. So that's going to go with four. The last thing we're going to do is name all of these. I'm going to give you a word bank and you're going to uh, match them up. So um, I'm going to write down your word bank for you. I see a triangular pyramid in this list. I see a pentagonal prism in the list. I see a hexagonal pyramid. What else do I see? I see an octagonal prism. And I see a square pyramid. Pause the video, see if you can match those up. Okay, hopefully you're ready to go over these. The triangular pyramid is going to be shape C. The pentagonal prism is going to be B. The hexagonal pyramid is going to be D. The octagonal prism is going to be E. And then the square pyramid is going to be A. And I'll talk about why each of those are. So in order for something to be a pyramid, it has to have one base 
and then the rest of the sides are triangles. The base of this one is a square, so that's why it starts with the word square, and then all the other sides are triangles, that's why it's a pyramid instead of a prism. For B, it's a prism because it has two bases. And the reason that it starts with the word pentagonal prism is because they're, the bases are pentagons. The rest of the sides are rectangles, and that's what makes it a prism. In a triangular prism, a triangular pyramid, it'll have a triangle base, and that's where the word triangular comes from. And then all the other sides are are triangles, which makes it a pyramid instead of a prism. In a hexagonal pyramid, the base of it is a hexagon, and then all the other sides are triangles. There's only one hexagon, everything else is a triangle. And then in the octagonal prism, the base is an octagon. We can't see the other one, but I think it's pretty safe to assume that there's a second octagon in the